Hey guys! I was thinking that for this week's video, we can make a crocheted daisy market bag. You guys know that these ideas come to me in my mind and I can never draw them out because I can't draw clothing. But um, I have this idea in my head of a market bag that is made with chain daisies. So that is what we'll be doing for today's video. Before we jump right into the tutorial, I do want to take care of the housekeeping. Make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and make sure that you turn your notification bell on because YouTube will not notify you when I post if you don't have your notification bell on. So you make sure you click that button, click that button. If you're subscribed, you might as well turn your notification bell on as well because you're not going to know when I post. You're going to have to look for me. And who wants to go through that whole extra stuff of having to look for me when you can just be notified every time a new video goes up? Also, in addition to that, if you're interested in checking out my website, checking out my crochet clothing or my crochet patterns, the links to my website and my Etsy shop are down below in the description. And so are the links to all of my social media pages if you're interested in, you know, keeping up with me. And now that that's done, let's jump right into the tutorial. I think for today's tutorial, we'll be using a size 5mm hook. I know, I know, crazy. I'm not using my 4.5. I figured we'd give the 4.5 a break today, and we're going to go with the 5mm crochet hook. Also, these are the colors that I will be using for the bag. The middle of the daisy will be this um pretty like pastel yellow color and all the other colors will be used for the petals of the flower now let's just jump right into making these chain daisies i once again have never made a chain daisy before but i have an idea on how to make it it seems pretty easy so we're just going to jump right in and i'm going to show you how i make my chain daisies and i'm also going to show you how to connect those daisies together and then we're going to jump right into creating this bag. So we're going to start off with our yellow color, which will be the middle of the daisy. Ooh, focus on me. There we go. Um, and we're going to start with a magic circle. I do have a more in-depth magic circle tutorial, but this is the way I do my magic circles. And I really wish this camera would stay focused. Okay. Um, but this is the way that I do my magic circle. So I take my three fingers and I take the tail of the arm and I hold it with my thumb like this and I cross over the back of my three fingers and I make an X. Then I hold it right here at that X. I take my hook, I place it into that circle that we just made and I grab that working yarn and pull up a chain. Now I hold right under that chain to make sure the yarn doesn't like go slipping and sliding anywhere. And then I yarn over and pull through from there. And that is how I make a magic circle. So we have our one chain here with our magic circle and then we're gonna place 12 single crochets into the center of the magic circle. One, two, three, four, Now we're going to hold on to our tail and we're going to pull it to close our circle. And then we're going to place a slip stitch into the first single crochet we did. So slip stitch right here. And this is the center of our flower. So at this point, we're going to be changing colors and to do so I just like to put the yarn over my hook pull it through that chain and then just as an added measure to keep the yarn secure I have to clip the old part and then tie a knot feel free to double knot it for extra extra security and then from this point, we're going to chain 11. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Then we're gonna slip stitch into that same single crochet that we slip stitched into previously. 
so this single crochet right here where it looks like the chain is like coming out of it we're gonna slip stitch right into there and that's our first little petal so then from this point we're going to chain 11 again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and then we're going to slip stitch into the next single crochet so slip stitch into there then we're going to chain 11 again and then slip stitch into the next single crochet And then we're going to continue to do that all the way around the flower until we have 12 petals done. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven chains done. Slip stitch into the next single crochet. Guys, I really hate slip stitching. Slip stitching is my least favorite thing to do. So at this point, you want to count your petals. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 petals done. And we're going to bind off. And at this point, your circle might have opened back up. So we're just going to pull that circle closed again and tie a knot for security so that the uh, circle does not open up again and this is what our first flower petal looks like cute cute now we're going to move on to the next flower you want to keep your previous flower close because we're going to need that. So now we're going to make another flower. So we're going to repeat our steps to making a magic circle. So this yarn is splitting a little bit, but we're going to place our uh, 12 single crochets into the middle of the magic circle. Now we're gonna pull our magic circle tight. Pull it tight, pull it tight, pull it tight. Slip stitch into that first single crochet. And at this point, we're gonna tie a knot to secure our magic circle. Make sure to pull it as tight as you possibly can without ripping your yarn and then tie a knot. Okay, so now we're going to switch colors. So we're going to use pink for color number two. Attach your yarn, pull it through that chain. At this point, cut your previous color, tie a knot. Tie it tight. All right, guys, so once we have our new color attached, we're gonna get our flower from the previous round because we're gonna be connecting it to this flower. So we're gonna chain one, two, three, four, five, right? We're gonna take our hook out, place it through the petal, like through the middle of the petal, place it back into that chain, pull it 
through here. Mind you, we didn't chain another one yet. We still have our five chains. We just pulled that through this petal. And then we're gonna chain our sixth chain. And then seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And now those two petals are now connected and we slip stitch back into that uh, first single crochet the same way we did the previous flower. So that single crochet that looks like this chain is coming out of this one, oops, sorry, this one right here, we're gonna slip stitch right into that. And then we're gonna do another five chains. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to connect it to the next petal. So take your hook out, place it through the middle of that petal, put your hook back into that chain, pull that chain through the middle there, chain six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and slip stitch into the next single crochet. So now those two petals on the side are connected and we continue to make our flower just like we made this one. So we continue to do our 11 chains and then slip stitch into the next single crochet. Okay guys, so our second flower is done and we're just gonna bind off and clip our yarn. This is what it should look like. Ignore this yarn over here. This is what it should look like so far. So it should be two flowers connected by two petals. And now we're gonna place another flower on the other side. So you wanna make sure that you're placing the other flower on the same petals as this flower. We're gonna count four petals away from this connection. So one, two, three, four. And then these two petals will be the petals that will be connected to the next flower. So there'll be four free ones on top, four free ones on bottom, and then we'll connect these two. I hope that makes sense. But nonetheless, we're gonna start, oh, sorry, my yarn winder is right here. But uh, nonetheless, we are going to start on the third petal. So my idea for this bag, was to create four petals in a row and then kind of like stagger them after that so that we won't have large gaps in between. Um, I actually have a no idea how this is gonna come out, but we're just gonna keep going. So back to our middle color. You know the drill, magic circle it. And then our 12, single crochets close your circle slip stitch into that first single crochet Ooh. change your color and tie your knots i think the next color we should work with is what so we're gonna work with our white color next and move the other colors out the way, but keep your petals close by. So, you know, we're gonna yarn over. Tie your double dot. And then while we're here, we're also going to tie the knot that will secure our magic circle. Then we do our 12 
I mean, then we do our 11 chains. Okay, so for the next petal, we're gonna connect to our pink flower. We're gonna count over to the sixth petal from our previous connection, I guess. Um, and we're gonna connect this petal first and then we'll connect this one. So for this one, we're gonna do five chains. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Then we're gonna count over one, two, three, four, five, six. Place our hook through the middle of that petal, put that chain back on the hook, pull it through the petal, and then do our sixth chain, and then do the remaining five chains. So one, two, three, four, five for 11 chains all together, and then slip stitch into the next single crochet. And then we're gonna do again, five chains, one, two, three, four, five, Pull your hook out, count over one, two, three, four, five from our previous connection. Put your hook through the middle of that petal, put your loop back on the hook, pull it through the middle of that petal, do our sixth chain, and then the five remaining chains. then slip stitch into the next single crochet and then just finish up the uh, remainder of the flower. As you can see, we have three flowers done. We're gonna create one more flower and connect it the same way we connected the previous two. And then for the fifth flower, we're gonna be connecting it on the side, but also on the bottom. And I'll show you guys how to do that, of course. But for now, let's just make that fourth flower and then we'll reconvene. Okay, so we have our four cute little daisies, and now we're gonna be we're gonna begin on the fifth one. Why does this flower have thirteen petals, guys? Hold on, hold on. Hold on now. Hold, just hold the hell on. So we have our four flowers done. Now we're gonna work on our corner flower. Our corner flower is going to connect at six petals on the side. So we're gonna leave these two petals and these two petals alone and we're going to connect our corner flower at these six petals on the left side of the flower. So I already have our fifth flower started. I have our five chains done as well. So we're going to start from the bottom up. So we're going to leave these two petals alone, go into this petal here and connect. then connect the next five petals as well. So 
So now we have our six petals connected and we just finish out the flower without any connections. So our project looks like this so far. We have our five flowers. We have the four of the bottom and now we have one on the side. It's kind of standing low key because it's connected at those six petals of the fourth flower. So our next flower will be connecting at these two points of the fourth flower, these two points of the third flower and these two points of the fifth flower oh guys this is this is doing my brain a number at this time of night you also want to make sure that your flowers aren't twisted so just keep that in mind but we are going to begin on the sixth flower And uh, of course, I'm going to do the middle of it off camera and I'll come back and show you guys how to connect it. So we have our one, two, three, four, five, our five chains of the six flower done. And we're going to start our connection at this petal right here. So not the petal after the connection, this one. And we're going to connect like we've been doing. Guys, this tutorial is not easy. So, okay, so we finish out that connection. Five, six. This tutorial is definitely kicking my butt. If you guys only knew how many times I've had to frog this so far. But nonetheless, we continue. Um, and then we connect the next petal. Three, four, five. Connect this one. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we got those two connected and then we chain five. And now we're going to be connecting the blue petals. The blue petals are connected and now we're going to also connect the white petals. Once again guys, make sure your flowers are not twisted. So now we have our six flower connected to our corner flower and the two flowers up the bottom. And we're just going to finish out this flower without any connections. So here is what it looks like now with our six flowers and this is what our sixth flower should look like. It should be connected to three flowers. Now we're going to start on our seventh. Our seventh flower is going to be connected to the rightmost petals of the sixth flower. The two, uh, wait a good goddamn minute. How many goddamn petals is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Why is there 13 petals on this? Is there 13 petals on all of these? So I'm just trying to stay calm. Just trying to be calm. That's, that's all. 4 and 4 and 4. There's 13 petals. Okay, so we're going to pretend like there isn't 13 petals on this a flower. Um, I'm gonna fix this and we'll come right back. Oh 
my god, this makes me so Okay guys, we're back after a couple of deep breaths and fixing that flower that mysteriously had 13 petals instead of 12. The next flower will be connecting at these two petals, these two petals, and two of the pink petals as well. So we're going to begin on the next flower. I think I am going to make it a blue one and I am not sure if there will be a written tutorial or a written pattern for this just because I'm actually having so much trouble explaining to you guys the steps I can only imagine how much trouble I'm going to have putting it in writing so I'm, I'm just not entirely sure that I want to put myself through that kind of torture but if there ever is a written pattern or if anybody has any tips on how to make the written pattern more uh, clear, let me know. So we have our five chains and we are going to start our connection. Start it here. Let's start our connections here. So we have our connections done. We're connected to these three flowers and then we're going to finish out the flower with no connections. Okay, so our next flower is done and it's connected to these three points. We're actually gonna repeat the same thing again for the next spot. We're gonna put a flower right here, connecting it here, here, and here okay so i'm gonna do that flower off camera and come back and show you guys what it looks like but don't forget we're going to be connecting it at these two petals at these two petals and at these two petals okay so i got that flower done off camera and it's connected to the three points where it should be connected so the bottom six stitches should be connected to the bottom three flowers um, if that makes sense, I hope that does. And next we'll be doing a corner flower. So we'll be doing the same thing that we did with this flower, which would be connecting six petals to this green flower here and two petals to the white flower. So it should look similar to this flower here. Okay, so we have our next corner flower done and that corner flower is connected to two petals on the side and six petals from the flower on what is considered the bottom. So for the next three flowers, we're going to do the same exact thing we did for these three, except we're going to be connecting it on this side. So we're going to hold it like this and our flowers are going to be connected here, here, and here. In the same exact way we did these flowers here. Our next flower is gonna connect at these two points of the corner flower, these two points of the bottom flower, and also these two points of the other bottom flower. I really hope this is making sense, but just in case it's not, I will do that one on camera so you can see it, but it's the exact same way we did this green flower here. It's the exact same way. 
so we're starting our connection we're gonna start our connection here of course we got a five chains done oh gosh i'm tired no, i'm nowhere near finished but anyways So we've connected those two petals from the corner flower and now we're going to go into that bottom flower. And we've done the two petals from the bottom flower and now we're going to go into the next bottom flower and connect these two petals. And then now, of course, we'll finish out the flower with no more connections. So this is what our flower looks like. It looks identical to the flower on the opposite side. And our bag is, of course, starting to form now. So next, we're going to be doing a, another blue flower. And that blue flower, by this point, you guys should understand what I'm doing and where it's connecting. But I'm still going to tell you just for those that, you know, don't understand yet. Um, for that blue flower, we'll be connecting here at these two petals, at these two petals, and at these two petals. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera because you guys should understand how to connect the flower. But remember, we're gonna be connecting it here at these two petals, at these two petals, and at these two petals. So we've gotten that blue flower done. And next, we're gonna be doing a green flower like the other side of the bag. And just like the other side of the bag, that green flower is going to connect to this blue flower, this white flower, this blue flower, and this corner flower. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make all four of these flowers connect with this upcoming green flower. Okay, so we have our five chains. And we're going to be connecting to these two blue petals here on the side. So. Now we're going to connect to the two petals on the flower from the first row of flowers, the bottom. So we're gonna connect to the two petals on the blue flower, there should only be two petals left. Now that those two petals are connected, we're going to connect to two petals on the corner flower. So we leave the two petals at the top alone and we connect to the two petals on the left side. Okay. 
And then we finish the flower with no more connections. So this is what our project is looking like so far. We have that row of flowers on the bottom and then now we have a round of flowers, I guess next to that, adjacent to that. I'm not really sure what terminology to use at this point. It is one o'clock in the morning and I'm just trying to get this baby done. So yeah, this is what it looks like so far. If I flatten it out, it looks like this. Okay, so now we're gonna be attaching another flower and we're gonna be starting on the corner. So we're gonna get those five chains done on our next flower. One, two, three, four, five, All right? And now we are gonna connect two petals from this flower to one petal from the corner flower. So we're gonna to get to this flower here and we're gonna connect one, two, three. So that's the first petal, and now we're gonna do another one in that same space three four five in that same petal I'm gonna attach another one okay now that those two petals are attached to one petal from that corner flower we're going to attach to this next flower so the flower next to the corner flower we're going to attach to these two petals so one petal each for these two petals of this flower And then we're gonna finish off the flower with no connections. So here's what that looks like. Um, and now we're going to be making another flower, connecting it here, here, and here. Just like we did these flowers on the front side of the bag, the ones that aren't the corners, the ones that aren't the corners, we're gonna be doing the front side flowers the same way. So I'm gonna go ahead and do these next two flowers off camera since we already know how to connect it. But just for a reminder, we're gonna be connecting it to the flower on the side and then the two flowers on the bottom. So here, here and here all right I'll be back I've done the two front facing front facing I've done the two front facing flowers and now we're gonna work on the flower on the corner and it's gonna be done the same way this flower was done so it's gonna be connecting here at these two petals and then we're gonna be connecting two petals from that flower to this one petal here so let's go ahead and get that done. I went ahead and pre-made some middles for the flowers because I'm realizing that this is taking it way longer than I thought it was gonna take. And it would probably move faster if these were already finished. So, so we got our five chains done and we're going to be connecting to these two petals. So let's start off with this one.
Now we connect to the two petals from the flower below. And then we're going to connect two petals from this flower to one petal from the corner. Then we finish off the flower with no more connections. Okay, now that that flower is done, we're gonna repeat the exact same thing on the other side right here. We're gonna put another flower connecting two petals to this one petal, these two petals on the side, and two petals from the next flower below it. So these two, this one, and these two. Okay, so that next corner flower is done, and now we're gonna do two front facing, why do I keep saying facing? We're gonna do two front facing flowers. So the same thing we did for these two flowers, we're gonna be doing for the next two. We're gonna be connecting on the side, on the, and at the two points on the bottom flowers, here and here. And then for the next one, we'll be connecting on the side, and then these two points and these two points. So I'll get that done off camera, and then we'll reconvene. All right, guys, it is looking good. It is looking good, minus all these ends that we're gonna have to weave in at the end. I'm actually not gonna weave them in. I'm actually just gonna cut them off, but I would suggest actually weaving these ends in if you have patience. Anyways. So we're gonna do another corner flower right here. So we're gonna do the same thing we did for this corner flower. We're gonna attach it at the side, at the bottom with these two, and then we're gonna attach two petals to this one petal right here. And then we're also gonna attach on the other side of the first flower we did for this row to make it a complete circle. So let's get started.
And now we're going to continue the flower with no more connections. So here is what we now have. Flip it over. Here's the other side. Please ignore all the ends that need to be woven in. And now we're going to be starting a new row. So for the new row of flowers, all of the flowers will be worked like the front facing flowers. I keep, Jesus, I keep saying front facing. Okay, all of the flowers will be worked like the front facing flowers. So they will be connected at the two points at the bottom and also on the side. And all of the flowers for the next row will be worked like that. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. It's literally 2.25 in the morning, um, and I think that I am going to work the rest of this bag tomorrow because, as you can see on my face, I brought my demeanor. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. That's too damn bad! I am truly exhausted. I really need to stop starting tutorials at 8 o'clock at night. Maybe that would help, but... For right now, I am going to um, take a break and we'll reconvene tomorrow. But as I was saying, we're gonna work the next round, AKA the next row of flowers. All of them are gonna be worked the same way the front facing flowers are worked. So I'm pretty much gonna just try to skate through the rest of these flowers and then we're jump, we'll jump back into the tutorial portion of the video so I can show you guys how to do the straps. But I think I'm gonna do maybe two or three rows of, of flowers worked like the front facing flowers are worked. And then we're gonna do the strap and we're gonna call it a day. But honestly, the bag is actually coming out very cute. So I'm kind of happy about it. But let me stop rambling and what will be the next clip for you guys will be the next day for me. So, peace. Hey guys, it's the next day. I know you can't tell because I'm still in the same clothes from yesterday because I slept in this shirt. But um, I'm up in Adam and it's time to finish these flowers. Let's just take a brief moment to acknowledge how long this tutorial is taking me to finish. Um, this was supposed to be a quick project, but of course I jumped into it not knowing what I wanted to do, like how I wanted to place the flowers. And that turned into me having to take out and redo the flowers so many times. Thankfully, if a flower has too many petals or it's put in the wrong place, you can kind of just take out that flower and you don't have to take out the whole entire project. Thank God. But mm -mm, that ain't it. That ain't it. This was supposed to be a fun little cute bag. And now look, it has turned into a damn near two day project. I, I couldn't have expected that. all right guys so we now have the entire body of the bag finished i added two more rows of flowers and now we're going to work on the strap so i'm going to be using uh white for my strap feel free to use whatever color oh sorry feel free to use whatever color you want to use but i'm going to use white so i'm going to start off by attaching the yarn to the middle stitch from the quartermost petal Chain one. We're going to single crochet into that same stitch. Chain two. Single crochet into the middle of the next petal. Chain two. Single crochet again. Chain two. 
single crochet again and then we're going to chain four one two three four then we're going to go into the next petal and single crochet into the middle of that one and when i say the middle i mean the middle stitch not the middle of the petal but you could single crochet into the middle of the petal if you want to i just prefer to do it into that middle stitch but anyways uh chain two single crochet into the next chain two single crochet into the next chain two single crochet into the next and then now that that flower has all the single crochets in it we're going to chain four two three four and then work into the next petal and we're going to continue that all the way around and then we're going to slip stitch into the first single crochet that we made um i will come back and show you guys what that looks like but i'm going to finish the rest of the top off the top i'm going to finish the rest of the top of the bag off camera okay so i've done that all the way around the top of the bag and we're going to single crochet into that first stitch right here like so like that then we're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet in every stitch around the top so We got our first single crochet right here and then we're going to single crochet twice into this space and then into that single crochet from the previous row and then twice into the space and then to that single crochet from the petal twice into the space into that single crochet and then four times in between the two flowers so four single crochets in between like that and this is what it should look like and you're just going to do that all the way across the top and then we're going to single crochet not single crochet and then we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch from the row so continue to single crochet all the way around and we'll meet back up okay so we're at that last uh single crochet and then we're just going to slip stitch into the first single crochet from that row chain one and then we're going to do another row of single crochet so just put a single crochet in every single stitch So we're at the end of that round and we're going to slip stitch into the first single crochet like we've done in every other row and this is what it should look like so far. So now we're going to chain one again and then we're going to single crochet until the stitch that is right above the last petal of the first flower. So we're going to single crochet into the bar here. For me, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 stitches, not counting that chain one. So we're going to single crochet for 11 stitches. And then I'll show you guys what to do next. So we've done our 11 stitches and now we're going to do a chain for a shoulder strap. So I'm probably going to chain about 70. Let's see if that's enough. I'll let you guys know how much in a second. One, two, three. Okay, so 70 seems to be the perfect amount for your girl. Then we're gonna skip all of these stitches and we're gonna go to the stitch that's right above the last 
petal, well the first petal of the last flower of the front and we're gonna go into that baby we're gonna go right in so that looks like about this stitch right here we're gonna go right into that stitch single crochet and then we're gonna single crochet all the way until this single crochet that's above the flower next to the last one of the front so the first flower of the back the last petal if that makes sense so we're going to single crochet from here to here okay So once we get to that stitch, we're going to chain another 70. Alright, we got our 70 chains done. And then we're going to go into the first, the stitch above the first petal of the last flower in the back. So that looks to be about right here. We're gonna go right in and single crochet all the way till here and that's where we're gonna be doing our slip stitch and end the round. Now we do our slip stitch and that round is done. So we have our straps now. This is what our straps look like. You can stop here if you like. Please ignore all these scraps. Um, you can stop here if you don't mind having a chain strap. However, if you want thicker straps, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So to add on to our straps, we're going to be chaining one for our next row, and then we're gonna slip stitch. We're just gonna slip stitch in these stitches until we get to the chain strap. Once we get to the strap, we're gonna be doing half double crochets. So you're gonna place a half double crochet in every stitch on the strap. So you should have 70 half double crochets. But we're just going to continue to place those half double crochets into every chain from the strap. Okay, so now that all of the half double crochets have been placed into every chain of the strap, we are now going to go back to slip stitching into every stitch. So into every single crochet, we're going to place a slip stitch. And then on the next strap, we're gonna do the same thing we did for the first strap and we're gonna half double crochet into every chain from the next strap and then continue to slip stitch into the remaining stitches and then slip stitch into the first stitch from the round and our bag will be finished. Once you complete that slip stitch to end the row, then we're just going to bind all five. We're gonna bind off. Don't make fun of my monkey scissors. We're going to bind off. And then you have the honor of weaving in all of these ends. To be honest with you, I tied knots on all the backs of the flowers, so I won't be weaving in 
any of these ends I'll just be clipping them and burning them but that's still a lot of work but once you're finished your bag is done let's get a nice view of it how beautiful was it worth every tear I think it was I think it was please leave me a comment in the in the comments please leave me a comment in the comments obviously please leave me some feedback if you if you guys thought I did a good job explaining how to create this bag but it is finally done and I could not be happier so let's just weave in these ends and I'll give you guys a final look okay guys so my camera's a little low because my tripod is a little short today for some reason but the bag is done and this is our final product i am so 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 incredibly proud at how this came out because as you guys can see this tutorial was a lot of trouble but it was worth every bit of trouble i want to thank you guys so much for sticking with me through today's tutorial and if you make this bag please please tag me in it on instagram on tiktok wherever you post your creations please tag me because i would love to see your creations and this applies for all of my videos like if you make anything from my channel please tag me in it so that i can see it once again thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you have any questions in the comments and i'll see you next time bye actually that's 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 not looking right oh actually guys i messed up I hope that makes sense. But nonetheless, we're gonna start. Oop, sorry, my yarn winder right here. I actually have a no idea how this is gonna come out, but we're just gonna keep going. Why does this flower have 13 petals? Guys, hold on, hold on. Hold on now, hold this, hold the hell on. Um, let me think. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Why is there 13 petals on this? Is there 13 petals on all of these? Let me just go in the bush and weep. Let me just go in the bush and weep. I just have to go in the bush and weep. Oh, guys, this tutorial is kicking my ass. We'll be connecting at these two petals, actually. These two petals. And maybe just one. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. Hold on.